This is Dr. Chris Doherty from Mentonville, Arkansas. Here I'm demonstrating the use of the Velox 3.3 millimeter 90 degree aspirating ablator. I like this device. Its configuration allows me to get underneath in a chromium very nicely. You can see how I utilize this elbow to attract the soft tissues beneath and allow me to get good leverage to actually just scrub the soft tissue off the undersurface of the acromion. It's very nice for dissecting the soft tissue. Here I've got the setting on 100. It does go higher. I just like the setting at 100. And this does a very, very nice job of clearing out the soft tissue. Now we're back into our glenohumeral joint. Here I'm dissecting the biceps free so that I can do a biceps tenodesis. So here I'm just cutting through the biceps itself. So you can see how the angle is aiding me to get in and behind the biceps tendon. Without causing any other atrogenic damage. Now we'll go back up into the subacromial space. That's our rotator cuff tear that we've identified. But we also need to do our biceps tenodesis. So here I'm utilizing the edge of the ablator to simply open the biceps sheath. Once I can see my biceps tendon down within this sheath, then I'm able to better elevate the biceps tendon. In this case, with the ablator, I can perform a sinovectomy, at least a limited sinovectomy within the groove or just distal to the groove, get hemostasis on my bleeders. And with the design of the ablator and with how stout it is, I can actually just retract the biceps out of the groove to allow me to place my socket for my tenodesis. So again, this is the Velox 3.3 millimeter, 90 degree. So with this ablator, I'm able to actually retract the biceps, obtain hemostasis of these bleeders that are almost always along or distal to the biceps groove and actually protect my tendon for the tenodesis that I'm performing. So you can see I'm actually retracting then activating the ablator so I can get my hemostasis achieved. I can actually perform a nice synovectomy. You can see we've got synovitis along this biceps tendon itself. So we're protecting our biceps with dissecting the synovitis free. Here I'm actually retracting the biceps up and out of its groove. Putting the tissue gently, I lower the power setting as I want or raise it to get the effect. Here we're sitting at still 100 watts. It does a very nice job of ablating the tissue and achieving hemostasis. So you can see all this synovitis around our biceps tendon itself. We're just going to clear ourselves an area so that we can perform a socket to tenodes or biceps tendon.